a moment ago in her tights. Ruthie Enshaw along with Nick Ferrari and Julie Peasgood. A thorn amongst the roses. Oh, Aren't I the lucky one? Aren't you there the lucky are. one? You love this first yep. bit too, as well, because first up tonight, we're talking this. Okay, girls, hands up. Oh, now, Ruthie, you're not looking very excited. I think that's hideous. Oh, no. Is she talking about me there? No, no. <laughs> you were meant to say, oh my god, I must have it. No. Because oh. this is, this is the new Mulberry handbag. Alexa, based on Alexa Chung's style of handbag. How much do you think this costs then? I How's know it costs 800 quid. No, it doesn't. It's five pounds short. <laughs> <laughs> 795 pounds. Oh, wow. Well, it feels very nice. Have a feel. See what you. Because I yes, thought, you know. It's nice leather. Is it? Yeah, yeah, nice leather. But it's, yeah, that, yeah. that looks like it's come off the market stall. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Apart from the little. Embossed, you know. Yeah, the mold brown. Yeah. I mean, Nick, would you buy a woman handbag that costs five pounds short of eight hundred pounds? No, I have to regularly give an old bag and several hundred pounds a month. We can't talk about my divorce. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Lawyers are watching. Um, no, I, no, I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, you do sometimes see bags and you go, wow, that's fantastic. Any chance of a drink? No, sometimes you see bags and you think, wow, that's really good value, but that, that's no. too much, too much. No, Julie and Julie are not going to excite Probably maximum 200 quid on a bag now, not 800. So I, I think, or 795. Uh, I, I bought a mulberry bag one time, but that was before children. Yeah. And yeah. it was, it, I mean, it was stupid money How that much? I would never pay. How much? <laughs> 15,000? <laughs> <laughs> they tell me now if you want to get. Five. If you yeah, want to get. They tell me now if you're going to the toppest tops of shops and you want something like crocodile handbag and you want a really vintage one, it will cost you, wait for it, girls, £40,000. What? Apparently. You wouldn't want to take that to a disco and dance around it, would you? Good lord. <laughs> now then, on to the glad rags. According to the Paris catwalks, this is the new look every man's going to be wearing this spring. Here it comes. <laughs> now then, no, don't laugh. This apparently is long johns worn on the outside, which of course look great on Rob. But he's a male model, but this is what they're likely to look like on your average man. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, this handbag, as you know, costs £795. The long johns were 12 quid from Marks and Spence. <laughs> Alan, you've got somewhere. I'll tell you the really good fact, because you've got somewhere you can put your mobile phone. Don't! Don't! <laughs> it's, that's the only rechargeable packet I've ever seen. <laughs> Julie. Awful. It's like Alf Garnet or something from a carry-on film. It really is. They are equivalent, Alan, of my Bridget Jones big pants. Zero fun in the bedroom. Nick, you could be wearing these shortly. Yeah, you know he's got his iPhone down there. There's not room for a Wii as well down there. <laughs> 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 it's clearly turning you on one big heap, isn't it? Really? Well, I'm so, look, that male model, I'm so, what's his name? Rob. Andy. There's, Rob. There's oh, the very, big one. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, Andy. Rob. Um, no, no. That, that's a good look for me. I don't mind that. The, the trouble is, Alan, because they look, you just think, I'm sorry about this audience, Long John's, you just think, John Prescott, don't you? Just imagine. <laughs> thank, thank, you, you, thank you very much to Andy and to Rob. Thank <laughs> you indeed. Oh, thank you. Well, it was almost as good when they were retreating up the stairs, wasn't it? I hardly have to say anything when I show you the headline from the uh, Daily Mail, do I? Yes, the hunt for female Viagra. Drug companies have spent millions on, de on developing a female Viagra to boost women's sex lives. This is after seeing Andy in a pair of long johns. <laughs> do women need it as much they, as men? Absolutely. It's driven, Alan, by demand. As yet, there hasn't been any supply. I get loads of letters from women saying, can I take Viagra? And obviously, it's not ideal. It's meant for a bloke's engineering. I've got any you of know, those but... letters on you. <laughs> 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 
through. Just check them out. Lack of desire is the biggest problem we face. Both men and women, believe it or not. Bring it on, I say. Julie, uh, Ruthie? Um, I think it's probably the men that want us to take the fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's quite a lot of truth yeah, in that, really. Yeah, children. Yeah. And it's a little bit harder to do it. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, guys, just don't have to worry too much about that, provided you don't worry too much about getting yourself a pair of long johns, because get those passion killers if ever I saw a pair. <laughs> I don't know about a pair, there are about 17 <laughs> of them in there. And Lucy's back later chatting and performing from the hit show Chicago, and Nick and Julie will be back when we ask as Ellen Woods is reputedly taking back...